For the right triangle shown below, which ratio represents the cosecant of theta? Yeah, so let's let's try to examine what is cosecant. Well, cosecant theta, what is going to be the reciprocal relation to cosecant? Sine. Sine. So let's look at sine. I have an easier time remembering what sine is. So sine is going to be, yeah, it's going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, and so, uh, and it's cosecant is just going to be the reciprocal, right? So we have hypotenuse over opposite. Now, do we have an opposite here? No. No, we do not. And so, in order to solve this one, we really need to find out what that opposite side is, don't we? And how would we do that? Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. So we have, we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 3 squared plus b squared, we'll call that a, b equals 5 squared. What do we do to solve for b? We'll subtract 3 squared. And so b squared <coughs> equals, and what's 5 squared? 25. And 3 squared? Nine. Minus 9. So b squared equals 16. All right, how do we solve for b now? Get the square root of 16. Take square root of 16, square root of both sides, so b <coughs> equals 4. So now we have this side is 4. So now can we do this one? Yes. Yeah, so we have the hypotenuse and the hypotenuse is 5 and the opposite is 4. So 5 fourths. So our answer to this is B. Okay, any, any questions on that? I hope that using your, using your notes should be able to make this thing easy. You should be able to do this without notes, too. So, no questions on this? No. Thank you.